Okay. Hooking up the bottle heater. I have the ground wire running right there. Got zip tied along the main wire harness. Power wire running up along the side. Zip tied under there. And then through there. And you can see a little bit up here. Okay, now I got my bottle warmer and my purge right in here. Okay, and for the uh, TPS, I forgot that one. Have it running through the intake and out the side. I also did the uh, cooling mod bypass, which I have it right here. Got the uh, high pressure clamps on it. That's what I'm going to be using for the fuel line here. And I will probably be trying to go and get it through the uh, alternator area. There it is, a little red nozzle. I figured I'd take the alternator off reach through all the uh, vacuum lines and be good to go but the cooling mod has made this extremely cold to the touch so I think it'll help a little bit and that's basically all up in the front I have mine 
running straight. Wasn't too bad to get lined up. Oh. Let's try to get some light. Hold on. Oh. I used the existing grommet. Ran over top. Come down around. Right up to the break. the line I was looking for. And I just have it ran. Right up along the uh, field line. Okay, this is almost the end of the nitrous install. Here's my lines running to the box. There's everything running out. Pretty much hidden. To the purge. Line out. And for the uh, power wires, see if I can get a decent shot here. It's right above the hood latch cable, or below it, I should say. I got the uh, controller and the purge running together, then. I have the uh, main power, the separate power for the control box running with my remote battery wire. And I have it coming down here. And it runs in and connects right there. As you can see, I took the alternator off and the bracket, so I didn't have to mess with any of the gaskets or anything to get to the uh, fuel line. Fuel line 